is Thursday, May the 6th. This is my daily thought. You know what? I had to think for a second. I wasn't sure what the date of the day was. I had to take a look. Okay, so we have some things going on here. And it... You know what? Let me do this first. (laughs) K-I-R-W-K-C dot com, main podcasting platform. For those who are watching, I'm multitasking as usual. For those who are listening, you, you can't see it, so it doesn't matter. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please use whatever platform works best for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. As for some house cleaning, I have to do that right quick before I go into my daily thought. Okay, tomorrow I will do the mid-month energy sign pull. I'm doing it tomorrow because we're all ready. Tomorrow will be the 7th. So, and I want to get it out the way. And I will probably start doing some mid-month energy readings on, I'm thinking Monday is what I'm thinking. Only because I want to wrap everything up by next weekend so when we hit the middle of the month it will already be done so i i want to get a few of them out the way is is what i want to do so that is one thing so yes mid-month energy sign pool will more than likely be tomorrow as for the weekend i will more than likely do a wacky news weekend because I looked at my doc and the last wacky news weekend I did was back in April. So I'm looking to do, it's been a month now, so I'm looking to do another one of those. Also, another thing that's going on, I told you I have to get some of this housekeeping stuff out of the way. Also, I... I'm almost done with my submissions in regards to being able to set up doing interviews for the show. I I submitted the last part. I'm waiting for a confirmation on that. As soon as I get a confirmation on that, then I will go ahead and do it. Uh, hopefully sometime starting next week, sending out, you know, interview invitations to people that I would like to have um, more of a, that I would like to have a conversation with. So that's where I'm at on that. Oh gosh, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. And one of the people that I'm looking for to do an interview with, I'm looking to do cryptocurrency is what I'm looking to do. So keep that in mind as well. It's, it's going to be cryptocurrency is what I want to talk about, because I'm really curious about cryptocurrency and how what the breakdown is, because I know certain things about cryptocurrency but I would rather speak to someone who is considered an expert or does it on a regular basis. And it would be nice to have that type of conversation with an individual. So I felt that would be a good interview. So for the first interview, that is my goal, to discuss cryptocurrency. For other interviews with people, uh, like I said, I will more than likely talk about anything and everything except politics. This is a no politics zone. So outside of politics, I'll I'll discuss all types of things with people. But cryptocurrency is the first thing I'm looking for, (laughs) is what I'm looking for. So yeah, 
trying to think. I feel like there was something else I meant to tell everyone. And I'm not sure what it was. What was it? I don't... I'm trying to think. Told you I'm going to do the mid-month energy reading. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of tarot stuff. I will do a trial run of the love readings. I was saying that I would only do for a drawing of one or two signs, maybe a month or once a week or something of that nature. But I may just go ahead and do all 12 signs and do it as a monthly and and see how that rolls out. Um, I'm not sure if I would do a mid-monthly. Some people do that. Some people do general, they do monthly general readings, mid-monthly general readings, monthly love readings, mid-month love readings, monthly career and finance readings, mid-month career and finance readings, and all that stuff. Some of the people where they're completely dedicated to doing tarot card readings. Obviously, this podcast is not that. I dip in a little bit of everything on this podcast. So for the love reading, if it is something that I decide to do on a regular, it will more than likely stay at a monthly type thing. I doubt I would do a mid-month love reading. So, yeah. Thinking if there's anything else. Feel like I'm missing something, but I need to get on to the daily thought because I have other things to do. Uh, Keep your karma clean. I heard that recently from someone while they were doing a reading. She was like, you need to keep your karma clean. And I was thinking about that because we all have that spidey sense where something goes off and we we know the difference between right and wrong. Or at least one would hope we do. And there are situations where, of course, it's subjective, where someone may consider what's wrong right and one may consider what's right wrong. So, you know, it's on a case-by-case basis. But for the most part, when... People do certain things in life. They usually know whether they're moving above board or not. I always say that life will throw things at you. That it's a given. That's going to happen. Because again, as I say a gazillion times, comfort and growth are not friends. You can't grow unless you have some type of challenge. And if you're dealing with the regular challenges of life and you're not keeping your karma clean, where you're out creating chaos and confusion and heartache and pain and destruction, Everywhere you go, that energy will eventually make its way back to you. And when it does, if you're already dealing with what life is throwing at you on a regular level, on just the regular ebbs and flows of life, then having bad karma come back to you is like running a race wearing 25 pound weights around your ankles. It it makes it harder to get to the finish line. It makes it harder to go up the mountain. And That's why I always say to people like, yeah, do the right thing. Do your best to do what is right. 
Now, obviously, we are all human. We are all flesh and bone. We are imperfect beings, and we, we shall remain such, even though we come from perfection itself, which is the source. We're still flesh and bone. And not every, deci not every decision will be the, I don't want to call it the right decision. Not every decision will be the preferred decision by the energy that brought us here. And when we don't make the preferred decision by the energy that brought us here, we have to keep in mind that the consequences of that is a possibility that it will come right back around to us and possibly even harder than before. So... It's super important to keep your karma clean. The easiest, one of the easiest things to do with that, I always say treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people how you want to be treated. If you treat people how you would like to be treated, more than likely, it will work out. Now, I'm not saying be a pushover and I'm not saying smile and grin in everyone's face and do all this extra stuff. I'm not saying be fake or anything like that. And for those who may be new to my podcast, you can check out the episode. It's somewhere buried in these hundreds of episodes that I have. It's the difference between polite and fake. I, I go over it in detail. So I'm not asking you to be fake when I say treat people how you want to be treated. I'm saying it doesn't hurt to be polite. And I have to add a caveat to that too. There are some situations in my eyes, and again, this is where things become subjective, that you can't give energy to certain things even on a polite level because you know the energy of what you're dealing with on the other end, if that makes sense. Where you don't want your energy to come in contact with their energy. So you distance yourself from them as best you can to keep them from or to keep the two energies from interacting because if someone if you know someone's in a negative energy you don't want their negative energy to touch yours so there are situations like that in regards to with the you know treat people how you would like to be treated sometimes you just have to slide to the left and avoid and, and keep moving. So that's the caveat on that. Everything's on a case-by-case -case basis. But for the most part, treat people how you want to be treated. That will help you with your karma. That can be somewhat of a guide or a compass when it comes to finding out are you headed in the right direction of keeping your karma clean. Is it a perfect guide? Hmm. Nothing's perfect, but it's, it's something that you can add to your toolbox along with whatever you may discover in life that helps you interact with people that will not only keep your karma clean, 
but also help you evolve as an individual. So that's why I say, keep your karma clean. And when I heard that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that for a daily thought. I'll do that for a daily thought. And it should be obvious to people, but sadly it's not. It's, it's not always obvious to people, but people will be people. It is what it is. Such is life. That is all I have for my daily thought. I don't really have too much today. I, I gave you the information of the things that are happening. I'll have more information over the weekend as it unfolds. Also, I think I'm doing a reading, one of my, for anyone who needs to hear readings. I think I will do that this weekend. I still might do my daily three also on Saturday and do that because I feel like I just want to have that every day. The lucky numbers in the daily three, I want to keep doing that. And the tarot card reading for the collective, which is for anyone who needs to hear, something has been telling me to do that reading. I just don't know what decks I plan to use. So I'll, I'm 85% sure I will do that reading this weekend. So be on the lookout for that too, along with the Wacky News Weekend stuff. So I have quite a few things that are that should be going up on Saturday because I don't want to do it on Sunday. I, I My goal is to have Sunday to me. That is my goal. I'm looking to rest and, and just have some me time and do that. So yeah, um, that's all I have. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting the podcast. I sincerely appreciate it. Those who have been listening regularly, it, it means a lot to me. I will continue to give you more. I'm looking forward to actually doing the interviews now. And I'm hopeful because Mercury goes into retrograde, which by the way, I've already been hit. I had my appointment with the ENT in June and I had already told you that Mercury will be in retrograde and I was kind of giving it the side eye. Sure enough, <laughs> I find out today I have to cover for one of my coworkers. They're leaving for a vacation because they had told me they were going on vacation for Memorial Day weekend, but I thought they were going before. Like they were going to leave before Memorial Day weekend and then return the day after Memorial Day because obviously the, the office is closed on Memorial Day, which all of us work from home anyway, but whatever. And... I was thinking it would be that. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I'll circle up and then put in the time as we get closer and do it that way. And sure enough, I get the email or the message. And it's like, oh, I got June 1st through off. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I thought you were going before Memorial Day. <laughs> I thought you were vacationing in May, not in June. <laughs> so yeah. Welcome to Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> so I will probably reschedule for a different time. Obviously, I have to cancel now. So that will be done uh, probably this week. And I'll add that to my list of things to do. So yeah, everyone else prepare for Mercury Retrograde. It is beginning, starting next weekend is the pre-phase. And then it officially starts May the 29th and continues throughout June 28th, I think. Something like that. So if you have any travel plans, cross your T's, dot your I's. Triple check everything. If you're signing any contracts, triple check everything. If you're expecting communication, don't expect it to be on time. If it comes on time, give thanks <laughs> that it did. 
also if you are misunderstood in the month of June or it, at the end of May, end of May, month of June, and you're misunderstood with some type of communication where you're saying something and the person you're saying it to or texting it to or writing it to via email or social media is like, how could you say something like that? What do you mean by that? Blah, 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 blah. Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> so just a heads up, friendly heads up. All right, that's all I have. Thank you again to everyone for supporting the podcast. Until next time, be blessed.